Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS VivoBook X505Z model and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and what are the configuration of the RAM, how you can add or remove the RAM in here. This model comes with an 8 gig RAM, it says right on top of the sticker 8 gig, so that means there's an 8 gig in here. Uh, we're gonna open it up and see what can we do about this eight gigs and what I can. I made a short video, uh, so you can check that video for if you want to see um, by yourself what's the maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description. It's really short. You don't need to install any programs. Check it and make sure what's the RAM capacity. In this specific model, the maximum capacity that can go the processor can handle is up to thirty-two gig. But there is another issue that I'm going to cover on this one. Yes, you can only add a 16 gig stick in here. You can add a 32 gig stick, only it supports a 16 gig stick. And the 8 gig that it has, it comes is a soldered on the board. So they have an 8 gig solder on the board that you cannot remove or replace. And they give you a little space, a dim space, only one to put an additional RAM. And that one can go maximum up to 16 gig. Again, to verify your max capacity, double check the link in the video description to check, make sure you can, yours is supporting uh, 32 gig. All right, with all that said, we're gonna open it up and see how we can access that. And it is really kind of um, upsetting to see this model, this laptop, they're doing these things in, prop, in the, uh, they do these things really often. And back in the days, like five, ten years ago, they used to give a little cover in here. You can remove the cover, upgrade, add, remove the RAM, the hard drives. Right now, they want to make it really impossible for the user to upgrade their laptop. So they want them to go to the service center to do their upgrades. So that's kind of annoying. But if you follow the video, you can successfully update, upgrade your RAM with no problem. First thing first, power off the laptop. Grab yourself a screwdriver set. I'll use a Pixie screwdriver set. And we're gonna use a Phillips number one from this tool set. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And uh, tweezers, a curved or straight tweezers are really good to have. With all that on hand, let's get into it and let's open it up. So on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove all the screws and keep them in one pile because all the screws are the same size and height. So don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we remove all the screws, what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the laptop a little bit, just like that. And we are gonna stick the opening tool between the palm rest and the bottom cover, just like that, about a one or two millimeters, not much. And then we wanna twist it inward towards the screen, like that. And you wanna hear big click sounds on the cover. That's what you wanna hear. Just go all around and do this thing, and you wanna see the cover opening it up. Go all the way to the back corner, left, and the right side. Do not at any point lift up too much the cover. There's a reason for that. Close it up a little bit, not all the way. Flip it upside the, on the back side. You want to do the back end too. By the grill, you want to stick it right there. And you want to loosen up the cover right in here. Once you did all that, now you are going to open it up again in 45 degree angle. Now, once you remove the palm rest upward, only bring it up to this position of 45 degree because you're going to need to remove this flex cable for the trackpad and flex cable for the keyboard. There's a little tiny clip at the back. You want to lift up with your fingernail 90 degree, this cover 90 degree, and then you want to slide the flex cable backward. Same thing for this trackpad cable. It's the same thing, but it's smaller. Okay, and there we go. Now you can lift up the palm rest with a keyboard right on top. Now we put this to one side and we still got some way to go. Now we see the motherboard and I can see right away that there's a RAM chips right in here soldered on the board, but I do not have still access to that 
ram them, which is right on the other side. To get to there is another step. First, we need to disconnect the battery. Remove one screw right over here. And pull this clip in here backward. So I'm pulling this clip. And I'm going to lift up the battery from this. When I remove the screw, I'm going to lift it up, bring it upward. And then I'm going to move it to one side. Now we're going to remove the screw for the Wi-Fi port right there. Put it to one side. Use a tweezer, hold the Wi-Fi, and pull the connectors upward toward the ceiling. Unhook the lock for the flex cable for the bridge, left and right. You can do one side, but I prefer both sides. And then slide out, slide out. Remove the jack for the speakers. Just slide them back with your fingernails or tweezers. Don't pull on the cables. You can just put your finger, just pull it back or use the tweezers on the side of the jack. You need to remove the mechanical hard drive. One, two screws, and the third one, it is right under this aluminum tape, right there. So remove the three screws for the mechanical hard drive. Put it to one side. Slide the mechanical hard drive backward all the way back and bring it towards the back, don't lift it up, all the way like this, scooping it out. Now we need to remove the motherboard. Remove one screw, two, three screws on the motherboard. Okay, once you remove three screws from the motherboard, the motherboard is still kind of stuck because there's a clip right in here. You need to pull this clip with your finger towards the, this side and then lift up the motherboard from here. Remember there's a flex cable for the LCD. You can remove it or just leave it and pull it back a little bit like that. And then you can put a workshop towel, a towel so you don't scratch the screen. And bring it like that. And there you can see the whole uh, other side. There's a power state drive in here and there's a more RAM chips under this one Saturday. So there's a four gig in this side and four gig on the other side. And But you have a RAM dim available right in there. To add a RAM, it's really simple, it's a DDR4 RAM. You want to grab your RAM, make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch right in here. So it has to go this way. If you try to put it out of RAM, it will not go through because the notch doesn't match. So you want to bring it down in 45 degree angle all the way towards the jack. And you want to pinch it in 45 degree inside the jack. You want to hit that tiny click inside. And then, then you can see it is in 45 degree. You want to push it towards the motherboard. And the clips will open and close, and it will hold it in place. To remove it, pull these two clips away from each other, and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And you want to pull it back in 45 degree angle. And that's how you can add or remove. So you can put a 16 gig stick right in here, or I recommend you with another 8. So 8 and 8, you have a total of 16 gig for this processor. A 16 gig, it's really sweet spot but do not go with a 16 gig which is overkill and you're not going to feel any performance increase all right once you add the new ram in here you want to bring the motherboard down put down the io side this side down on the right scoop it in there make sure the screw holes are matching bring it down make sure there's no clip underneath and push down right here Make sure it clicks down, put the speaker cable. And now grab the hard drive, put it in an off, scoop it down from the back end. Make sure this plate goes over and then you want to slide it in. Right there. Now you want to put the three screws for the motherboard first, one by the fan. And two right beside the Hinge and the power jack. Put the screw for the Wi Fi board. And now, what you want to do, you want to move this one away. You want to adjust the cables over the Wi Fi jacks. So I'm holding it over the Wi Fi jacks and I'm just simply pushing it down gently and it snaps in place. There we go. Put the three screws for the hard drive. 
grab the battery, bring down this side down, make sure it's nice and aligned. Push down this connector all the way in there, it snaps in, and push down the connector towards the motherboard. Uh, put a single screw right over. There we have it. Now what you want to do, you want to grab the palm rest, bring it down in 45 degree angle, adjust the back end. Now you want to open it up like that. Open up the lock for the jack from the back side. First, put this tiny one and slide it right in there. Grab the flex cable for the keyboard and lock it in place. Now, you want to pinch the top cover and the bottom cover together, and you want to hit that nice click sound all around. Go to the back, towards the side. And that should cover up this video. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I'm just going to finish it up by putting up the bottom screw, and that should cover up. Just remember, once you power on, it will take up to 5 seconds before it boots up, because you remove the battery, and that should be everything.